Sagittarius and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so before I get started on this April reading just two quick announcements so I am hitting 100k really really soon so I decided to book a trip out to Chicago I will be in the downtown area so I'll be there from the 18th to the 22nd of April just to bring in my lovely tourist season but anyways um, on the 20th guys that is the Saturday I want to meet up with y'all so if you guys are in the area follow my Instagram high vibrations 44 I will be letting everybody know where I do decide to go so come out have a drink let's meet have a good time Time. and then if you guys do want to get read I'll be reading people on Friday the 19th and Saturday the 20th um, I'm flexible about the time but I'm only taking six people guys because I want it to be more of like a leisurely sort of trip so just let me know first come first serve okay y'all all right so let's see what's going on with my Sagittarians so this is going to be for Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs whatever comes out comes out and keep in mind all the energies can be vice versa so it could be something that you're experiencing or something that another person kind of brings into your life or a situation brings into your life so let's see what's going on here what is going on with my lovely Sagittarius I'm like trying not to complain because my AC unit is broken and my house is like almost 80 degrees right now. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I have a fan on in the room until this problem gets fixed. So let's see. All right. I feel like everything is just so hot and sticky. Dicky. Oh my goodness. All right. So we have your past, present, and we have your future. Nice. All right. So the energy that you guys have, beautiful. Nine of Cups. So this is happiness. This is satisfaction. This is fulfillment. And you have the full card over something new that comes in. For some of you, maybe that's going to be with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. For others of you, this is just something that you've really been super focused on, and now it's finally coming in. So I do see you guys being happy with something, all right? Now, the first card that you guys have for your past is the Four of Cups. So this is an offer that you're not making or an offer that you're not taking. Maybe an offer that just never came in to begin with, okay? Why is this Four of Cups here? We have the Sun card in the reverse. And the Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Strength card in the reverse. So in this case, this was something that you found debilitating. Um, maybe this was something that affected your health. Maybe this was something that you put a lot of effort into, um, you know, and it just wasn't worth it. Okay, but you're seeing something for what it is. You're taking off a blindfold and you feel like something's going to block you. So you choose not to accept any offers in this or to make any offers in this, but there's still a sense of something that needs to be closed out that you have not closed out with the world card in the reverse. So let's see what that's about. Cut me out. But um, yeah, with this world card in the reverse, let's see if I can pick it up. And I don't even have my long nails. You know how hard it is for me not to have my long nails right now. That's a different story within itself. But yes, with this world card in the reverse, uh, the ace of cups in the reverse came out. So something that needs to be let go of, but it's like it's still there. It's still lingering. And we have the seven of cups in the reverse, but there's clarity around the situation. So it may still be there, but again, you have clarity that something um, just needs to be closed out. Now, for some of you, you know, this is so that you can be happy. But with this next card, for some of you in love, maybe there was a third party situation. Okay. So maybe you were juggling. Maybe somebody else was juggling. Um, this could be falling out from a group of people, a group of friends. This could be, you know, not socializing as much. Maybe even being, you know, a little bit depressed as well. So let's see why this Three of Cups in the reverse is here. You have the Three of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're kind of just in a gray area here where you are building something new, but there's something that needs to be released. So now you're kind of like in that limbo where 
Um, you know, you just have to solidify things, let it go so that something new can come in. Now you have the five of pentacles in the verse, so if there's any financial problems or if there's any sort of loss or sense of rejection that you felt, it does subside. Now in the present moment, guys, the first card that you have is the queen of pentacles. So this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn around, um, or it could just be somebody, you know, whether it's you, because anyone can take on the energy of any of these characters here, but whether it's you taking on this energy or just an energy you're around, this is someone who's very stable. This is someone who's reliable. This is someone who um, can really just pull up their sleeves and get something done and really work on things. Someone who's good with money as well. You have the Knight of uh, Wands in the verse. And you have the Hangman in the verse. So it's like, you know, whether this is a person or just you just wanting to be stable within yourself, there's something that's forced here. If this is with love, then I clearly see a third party situation. Something that is going to make you feel like you're really just forcing a situation that's not good, that's not really meant to be there. So who's manipulating the situation? And what is it that you have to try and stop manifesting or that you no longer want to manifest, okay? Because, you know, with the chariot in the reverse being the center of your reading and the next card for your present moment, there's something that is out of your control, okay? You have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Magician in the reverse. So there may be something that you guys are trying to start. Something that you want long term in your life. But you have to ask yourself if it's realistically feasible. Okay? Because there's something here that a person would like to have in their life for a long time. Okay? Or something that they would want to build in a very strong and stable way. But with the Eight of uh, pentacles in the verse you have the four of pentacles in the verse i feel like this is telling you guys to be careful and to take heed okay um the next card that we have which i want to get to because it definitely you know makes sense with how things are panning out is the death card so there's going to be big changes that come in guys there's going to be a, a sense of you know skin that you're releasing like snakes shed their skin okay so in this case there's going to be a big change that's occurring okay why is this death card here? Four of pentacles in the reverse. And you have the queen of wands. For some of you, this specifically could be a change in finances for the better. In this case where you have more control of things, you're really bossing up. For others, there's something that you really have to end it's something that you really have to preserve yourself from or just protect yourself from and a lot of power comes in once you do with the queen of wands energy here okay but again something's not working okay now moving forward into the future we have the king of wands so we're going from queen of wands energy to king of wands energy so it's like you guys get stronger you feel more powerful why is this king of wands here Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the Empress card. Make sure that there's not a new start that's reckless for you. Okay? Because just emotionally speaking and just with how you guys are carrying yourself, it's like your character gets stronger, your energy gets more positive, and everything seems to be working out, but um, there's just a lot of recklessness that could be around you. Okay? There's a path that I feel you're passionate about but maybe it won't be the best for you. Or maybe you need to walk away from something in order to be able to have this new start. So, so far, I really just see that you guys have to get out of the gray area. Um, but a lot of you could definitely be dealing with air energies, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, that keeps coming up, okay? So there's going to be a change there. And honestly, the change could bring burden into a situation and it could bring pettiness into a situation, but there's success for you okay you have the wheel of fortune all right so life takes a very positive turn you have the seven of swords and maybe this is something that you're keeping a secret this good thing okay maybe you're keeping it to yourself because it's bringing you out of you know a bad place or maybe your mindset was on loss maybe your mindset was on rejection okay so it's like i have this 
good thing in my life, but I'm coming out of a tough place, so let me keep it on the low so I don't ruin a good thing before, you know, um, before it has a chance to really succeed, okay? Now, the last card that we have here is the Page of Swords. So again, definitely a lot of air energy around you guys. Or it could just be focusing on what's important and not letting yourself get distracted anymore. You have the King of Swords in the reverse and you have the Nine of Pentacles. So as you go towards this new thing, whether it's you being upset and you know cutting things out or people being upset that you cut certain things out, um, it's showing that there's going to be a need for self-sufficiency here. There's going to be a need for focus, but I feel like someone is going to have a very selfish demeanor in all of this, and for the most part, maybe it's because whether you didn't have genuine investment in something or maybe someone else didn't have genuine investment in something, you know, someone really just decides to be selfish here, okay? But I feel like it's more out of a positive reason because it puts you on a path of passion all right i'm going to pull one more card for this last section here you have the nine of swords in the reverse so you guys just stop you know being concerned about things and you have the lovers card here okay the justice card as well so i do see you guys going towards something good whether it's new love whether it's um you know just a new chapter in general but it's because of your focus and your determination to cut out anything that's genuinely not good for you for the people that don't genuinely care about you for people who um you know have been selfish towards you in your life and you knowing that you have to put yourself first okay so i really just see you guys defending your name in a sense all right so let me pull you guys three cards of advice and i'm gonna pull you an oracle card and let's see what's up here get you guys an oracle card now guys the deck that i'm using wild unknown tarot and then the oracle deck i'm using is oracle of visions by cyril marchetti Ooh. and there it flew let me grab that awesome all right, so let's start with this oracle card. So for anyone into numerology, number 18, okay, this is what it looks like. So let's see what this is about. Okay, nurturing, taking care of others. When you are a mother, you are never really alone in your thoughts. A mother always has to think twice, once for herself and once for her child. This card may represent the nurturing nature of a mother embracing her child, a teacher guiding his student, or a master training his apprentice. Each balances the desire to protect and provide direction to those under his or her care, with the need to also allow room for personal growth. We can prepare them, inform them, advise them, but eventually there will come the moment when we will need to resist the impulse to reach out and instead must let them fall. When they rise again, of their own accord, we can take comfort in knowing that we taught them well. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, what this card just said, and then let's look at these and just see how everything is kind of intertwined here. Now, the energy is the queen of wands in reverse, so there could be something that possibly pisses you off where you feel like you just need to stop involving yourself with something or you need to stop, you know, talking to a person. So you accept that and you find balance. You cut out something that can bring a lot of conflict into your life so i see you guys being in a place where you lose faith in something or someone okay and you're in a place that you just don't want to overexert yourself anymore it feels more natural for you to kind of let it go than to fight all right now let's clarify this real quick why is this lover's card in the reverse 
we have the Eight of Wands. Why is the Star card in the reverse? We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. But why is this Hanged Man here? Okay, Four of Wands in the reverse. So an unstable situation that you have to discuss, that you have to talk about, where someone's really going to be guarded and on edge, and someone just feels very fed up in all of this as well. So something is really being seen as a waste of time and effort. And I feel like the reason why this card comes up is because it's something that you're emotionally attached to. It's something that you're emotionally invested in, where if something's going to fall, you kind of just have to let it, all right? That's where that hanged man is going to happen. You have to see how the situation picks itself back up. You have to see how the people involved in the situation, you know, brush themselves off and how they get back up and how, you know, they continue to go through life. So really, you're at a point where even if you are very invested in something, it's just realizing that there might just be a downfall that has to happen here, okay? And having to be real about that and having to talk about that, all right? Um, for a lot of you, there could be a fallout within a love situation specifically because of promiscuity, somebody that had another person, because I see someone who tried and tried and tried and, you know, really wanted something, but they just didn't get what they wanted. So now it's like they, they have a huge change in energy where it went from loving and nurturing to, I'm sorry, like, fuck you, fuck off, fuck this, you know, and, and a lot of pettiness just attached to that. So... Just realizing, again, that even if your heart is invested in any way, shape, or form, that you have to do what is natural right now, and that's to just see how the situation picks up and make sure you're not doing the most and stressing yourself out, okay? All right. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to develop, guys. I'll be back with some more readings soon. And again, I'll be in Chicago from the 18th to the 22nd. So if you guys want a reading um, and of April, if you guys want a reading on the 19th or the 20th, uh, message me either at highvibrations44, my um, Instagram, or highvibrations44 at gmail.com. And like I said, six spots, guys. First come, first serve. All right. I love you, Sagittarius. Take care, guys.